Hey guys, I am Chris from Lucky Gunner and this is the second installment of our Shooting 101 series. We started off looking at how to use a revolver and today I'm gonna cover the absolute basics of using a semi-automatic pistol. Now, operating a semi-auto is a little more complicated than a revolver, so this one is gonna come in two parts. This is part one, where I will look at how to load and unload a semi-auto, and part two is gonna cover how to fire a semi-auto. If you are just getting into shooting, maybe you just got your first gun or you're thinking about getting one, this video is for you. Watching this will most certainly not make you a great shooter and it's definitely not a replacement for professional in-person training, which is something I highly recommend you pursue, but I'm gonna try and help you get going in the right direction. You're gonna learn how to make the gun work and how to minimize the risk of having some kind of accident. If you're a brand new gun owner, we need to start out by talking about safety. Handling firearms is an inherently dangerous activity. Every time you pick up a gun, you are making life and death decisions. That's something we cannot ever forget. Fortunately, we can mitigate a lot of that risk by following the four basic rules of safe gun handling. You might hear these worded in a number of different ways, but I will give you my summary. Rule one, treat all guns the same way you would treat a loaded gun. You cannot ignore the other rules just because you believe a gun is unloaded. Rule two, always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. That means if it were to fire, it's not gonna hurt anyone and it's not going to damage anything that you cannot afford to replace. Rule three, keep your finger away from the trigger until you are ready to shoot something. It's pretty straightforward, but that's the one that people seem to have the most trouble remembering. And rule four, know what it is you are shooting at and what is behind it. That goes for the shooting range or anywhere else you might need to use your gun. Now there's a lot more to using a gun safely than just the four rules, but if you follow them, you will greatly reduce your chance of unintentionally hurting yourself or someone else. There are multiple ways to do just about everything I'm gonna show you how to do with a semi-automatic pistol. These are not necessarily the only methods or the correct methods for handling and operating the gun, but I've tried to choose techniques that are easy to learn and easy to do safely. Also keep in mind that there are many different types of semi-automatic pistols. I would be here all day if I covered all of them, so I'm gonna be making some generalizations based on how the most common pistols work. I always recommend that you look over the owner's manual for your specific gun to find any details that might be unique to the model that you're gonna be using. Whenever we handle a semi-automatic pistol, the very first thing we need to do is clear it. That means we're gonna check and see if it's loaded, and if it is, we will unload it. Start by removing the magazine. The magazine release is usually located right here behind the trigger guard on the left side of the gun, but it might also be on the right side. With this style of mag release, I'm gonna press it in with my thumb, or I can use my other thumb, and the magazine will fall out of the bottom. If you're left-handed and the mag release is only on the left side, you can use your index finger or your middle finger to press it. Once the magazine is out of the gun, set it aside, and now you need to check and see if there is a round of ammunition in the chamber. So you need to lock open the slide. The slide is the part on the top of the pistol that moves back and forth when you shoot, and it can be kind of difficult to open, especially if you don't have a whole lot of hand strength, and even more so if you're using a really small pistol. So we're gonna use a very specific technique to open it. With the gun pointed in a safe direction, and with your finger away from the trigger, bring the gun in close to your body, down around your abdomen. With your other hand, place your palm on the side of the slide and then wrap your fingers over the top and grab the other side with your fingertips. There are usually some serrations here on the back of the slide to help you get a good grip. Make sure all of your fingers are clear of this opening here or you might pinch yourself. Now, instead of pulling the slide back, think about pushing the gun forward. Firmly hold onto the slide and quickly just punch the gun forward like that. Some people find it helpful to even point the gun downward a little bit to get even more leverage on it. Now let me pause for a second because remember I said we need to lock the slide open. We need to get a good look in there, which is hard to do if our hand is in the way and we don't wanna to have to just stand here holding the slide open. So we need to use the slide lock and that is this little tab right here. Sometimes it's shaped more like a lever. And when you put upward pressure on it, it's gonna automatically lock the slide open. There's a little notch in the slide. The slide stop slips up into there and it locks the slide open for us. You can also lock the slide open by inserting an empty magazine before you rack it. The empty mag will 
actually push up on the slide stop for you and it'll lock open automatically. Either way you do it, if there was a round in the chamber, it should eject when you open the slide. But you still need to check and make sure. So look inside the ejection port, which is this opening right here, and you're looking for the chamber, which is really just the other end of the barrel. Verify that there is no cartridge in there. If there is, it'll look something like this, but we want to see this. Now that you have cleared the gun, you are ready to do whatever else it is you need to do. You can clean it or put it away. In this case, I'm gonna load the gun. So I'm gonna leave the slide locked open and set the gun aside so I can load the magazine. Now the easiest way to do this until you get the hang of it is to brace the magazine against a hard, flat surface. Now it's gonna lean one way or the other. You want it to lean inward. Pick up a cartridge with your other hand and I'm using dummy cartridges here. These are not live rounds. So use the base of the cartridge to push down the follower. That's the, the thing inside the magazine that, that moves down. As soon as the cartridge is down low enough, slide it beneath the feed lips and make sure it goes all the way to the rear until it stops. Take the next round and do the same thing, except you're gonna be pushing down on top of the first cartridge instead of the follower. The more rounds you load into the magazine, the harder it's gonna to be to fit them in there. Brand new magazines can be really tight, uh, but you don't have to load the magazine to full capacity. This is a 17 round magazine. I might only load 10 rounds in here just to make it a little easier on myself. If you don't like wrestling with magazines, you can always buy a magazine loading tool and that will make the process much easier. Now that I've got a loaded magazine, I'm going to insert it into the grip till it locks into place. Grab the rear of the slide overhand the same way you did to open it. Pull back slightly and then let go. Now make sure you don't ride the slide forward. You don't want to slow down the movement of the slide. It needs to go forward on its own spring tension. If you slow it down at all, it might not close all the way and then the gun won't fire. When the slide closes, it picks up a round from the magazine and loads it into the chamber. If I were to take a magazine with just one round in it and load it, then close the slide and then remove the magazine, the round is gone because it is now in here. The gun will not fire unless there is a round in the chamber. If you want to load the gun but the slide is already closed, after you insert the magazine, the gun's still not ready to fire. I've still got to get a round from the magazine into the chamber. So you have to completely rack the slide to the rear and then release it. Now there's a round in the chamber and it will fire if I press the trigger. Now at this point, there might be some other steps you need to take depending on what type of pistol you have. The most common semi-autos today are polymer striker fired pistols like this Glock. If you have a gun like this, there are no additional steps. The gun is ready to fire right now. If your gun has a manual safety, you should flip that on after you load it. If you've got a decocking lever, this is when you should decock the gun. And if you have no idea what those things are and don't know what I'm talking about, then you should watch part two where I will go into more details on the different pistol types. If you need to unload the gun, you just follow the same procedure that we used for clearing it. Take out the magazine, lock the slide open. Now check the chamber and make sure that that round was ejected. If you're putting the gun away, at this point you can close the slide. When the gun is empty, you do want to ease the slide forward. You don't want to slam the slide closed on an empty chamber. It's not really good for the gun. Keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, lock the gun up somewhere, and keep it away from anyone who is not supposed to use it. In part two, we're gonna take a quick look at how to fire the semi-automatic. And when you get to that point and you're ready to take your new gun out to the range, keep in mind you can order your ammo from us at luckygunner.com and have it shipped straight to your front door.